Hello, this is Reza Rad from Radacad. In this quick video, I'm going to share a simple tip of how to write calculation in a Power BI streaming dataset, which normally you can't do that in the desktop. Before I explain about simple but useful tip, I would like to explain a little bit, a little bit about what is the streaming dataset, just in case you might not have worked with it. A streaming dataset is a dataset that we use when we want to have a real-time uh, dashboard or report, a report that as soon as a value change, it shows that value um, instantly. Like for example, you have a temperature sensor in the room, you want to capture temperature, as soon as the temperature captured, you want the dashboard to show that temperature. For these types of uh, reports and uh, dashboards, we use a specific type of uh, data set. We call it a streaming data set. A streaming data set can be created in the Power BI website only, in the Power BI service. This is a different type of data set than import, than direct query, um, live connection or composite model. This is a data set that you can only create it in Power BI data set. When you create it, you have the option to choose which API, uh, which uh, streaming service you can use, and you can configure and define data fields in it. For example, you can define data fields and their data types. Everything would be under one table. Uh, and this is how you create the data set. Once you created the data set, you can pass information into this data set using REST API calls which can be through, let's say, a custom .NET application, or it can be PowerShell scripts, or it can be um, part of a Microsoft Power Automates flow, or any other methods you can. Um, so those, uh, those tools or services, they send data rows to this data set, and then when you have data rows to this data set, you can uh, view their content in a live, or real-time basically dashboard. The salary dashboard uh, we've created is using one of those data of this coming from a Microsoft form passed through Power Automate into a uh, into a live streaming or um, streaming data set Power BI. Now with the streaming data set Power BI, and I'm not going to talk about what the streaming data set is anymore. Um, that requires its own uh, explanation and we have a blog about that and the link to that is down in the description below. When you have a streaming data set, you can build visualization. However, you cannot download the Power BI file because this type of data set is not supported in the Power BI desktop. It is not just in the report, even if you go to the data set, uh, under that data set, you won't have the option to download it, but in a normal data set, you would have the option to download the PBIX file. So with this data set, you can't basically do anything except looking at the API information or changing the set of fields that you have. Uh, you can't really uh, download it and open it in Power BI Desktop. And when you can download it, um, and open it in Power BI Desktop means that you are limited. You cannot bring other data sources. You cannot use Power Query. You cannot use DAX expressions. So you are just limited to use whatever uh, you can in the visualization only. Uh, and here comes the trick of how to do some simple calculations. Um, so you can create any visualization you want, but you can also use Q&A. And Q&A is quite powerful, um, not only gives you ability to use the existing fields, uh, you can use Q&A just by using that option, ask a question. So this gives you ability to say, for example, salary by country. So it gives you the ability to, to do some analysis like that, but it also gives you ability to write some simple calculation. For example, I have two fields, salary and salary pre-COVID-19. Uh, so I can say salary minus salary pre-COVID-19 and it basically does that calculation for me. I can say by country, I can put some criteria on it and say uh, where salary is greater than zero. Uh, you, you can have like simple calculations like these simply and this can even be like division or, or, or things like that. You can you can come up with some 
simple calculation. There would be, of course, some calculation not supported here. Like, for example, it might not be easy to do year to date or rolling average or things like that. But still, some simple calculation, which you can't do normally uh, because you don't have access to Power BI Desktop, you can do it easily here. Even if you convert this to a standard chart using this button, you'll see that in the values you have now a calculation. It won't be added as a calculation in your fields, but it is a calculation added directly into the values. If you want more, let's say, complex scenarios calculation, you do need to do this calculation before sending data rows to the uh, streaming data set. But for simple calculations, this is a simple tip I normally use, and I hope this uh, makes uh, development of real-time streaming solution with Power BI for you easier. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe into our YouTube channel. We have weekly videos of Power BI.